Okay, you guys, so today I'm back with another video and this is from Amazon. So basically what I've done is I have been researching and trying to find some cute, kind of fashionable, um, the RFID wallets. So it protects your credit card information, passport information while you're running through airports and you're touring in these different cities and visiting out of town while you're traveling. So I had did a detailed review on this one right here, which is really nice. This one I'm actually using for my main wallet right now. So this one is full of my information and stuff, but so far so good. It is holding up. I believe it was 15 or $20. I will leave the link to it below. But on this side, it holds your driver's license information. So you have a picture ID slot. And then it does have enough room for you to fill up with your card. So basically what happens now, people don't literally have to steal your wallet in order to steal your credit card information. As long as they have a card reader, they can swipe past your purse, by your pocket, and all they have to do is just scan. And now we have the chips, we have um, the tap and pay, all that on our credit cards. So these are two other ones that I ordered. This one right here is for my friend. Um, this one came with some information that says, thank you. This card says, thank you for purchasing. Um, help contribute to the online community, blah, blah, blah. Three easy steps. So this is the information for this card. I mean, this wallet that I got. So my friend is gonna be traveling to Canada. So I was like, um, we might need to get you a little safety protection. And her favorite color is red. This is a really nice true red color. Um, in this one, you get one, two, three, four card slots. This right here, I think would be good. Like if you had your boarding pass or a ticket or something like that, <clears throat> there is a pocket right here. And also we have a zipper. So if you're a person who could always got change cause you spend a lot of cash, there is a zipper to put your change in. I tried to pick out wallets that were semi-flat. I don't like wallets that are too bulky, but this is more like clutchy like to me. So if you're not traveling with a purse, a big purse, and you just have a shoulder bag or something that's small, like the crossbody bags, this will easily fit in there. If you can see, it's not that bulky and wide, and it does have a hook strap. So if you do want to carry it as a wristlet, you're able to carry it as a wristlet too. But this is the trifold, which has like the envelope style. And there's a place, if you have checks, there is a place for your pin for your checks, or if you just wanna carry a check with you. Um, this one is supposed to be for your passport, but it does have another pocket here, which you can use, I guess, for uh, cash money. It has uh, two more card, actually three more card slots right here. So this one doesn't give you as many card slots as the other one, as this purple one. But this, when you're traveling long distance and stuff, normally you have your two major credit cards and a bank card, which you don't want to carry all your credit cards with you anyway, just your main purposeful credit cards. If you do have a car key that you like to hook, then they have the hooking tab right here which you're able to hook your car keys onto. But I think this is a pretty good wallet. These, this doesn't open up or anything, but they could have sealed this off. That would have been nice if they sealed this off then to leave it bare. You guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's not that expensive. It's, uh, it's a nice quality. I will say it's fair, it's reasonable for the quality. Um, it has their little engraved, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's engraved right there. But I think this one is a nice wallet. So basically you have one, two, 
two areas where you can actually put cash in and then you have a zipper area for your um the zipper area which would be for any coins or anything it is large enough to hold your passport um i should have got my passport so you can guys see the passport fitting here easily but i think this is a very nice um wallet we won't know about how durable it is until we use it over time so i'll make sure i get a review from her after i give it to her but this even this is not um a cheap kind of hook and latch is actually a nice thick quality on this as well for the hook I'm trying to show you guys this so the hook on here this is pretty good quality as well so and if you don't want this then that's removable you can just take this off you don't have to have this on there so that's one other wallet and then I got another one. And of course this one is for me. But this one has the same thing. Uh, this is the brand it comes with. Um, I thought this opened up, maybe it doesn't. Oh yes it does. So, oh, this one's nice. So this one actually comes with a little packing guide. Oh, you know what? These are two different companies, but they both come with. So this one came with the red one. And I didn't realize that you open it up and it actually has a packing guide. I don't know how many times you go somewhere and it's always that one thing that you forget. If you're really busy and you're trying to pack, it's just always that one thing. But this is nice. It does come with the um, packing guide. It has the basics, clothes, hygiene, and miscellaneous. I mean, it has like sleep masks, earplugs, snacks, chewing gum, pleasure reading, wallet, cash, credit card, uh, driver's license, itinerary, maps and directions, traveler's checks, uh, travel tickets. So it's an outline on here for everything. It has like basics like underwear, socks, undershirts, bras, pantyhose, sleepwear. Who wears pantyhose anymore? I don't know. Those things irritate my skin. But um, sleepwear, robes, they got slacks. So almost everything you would need, outerwears, gloves, scarves, hats, raincoats, um, footwear, athletic shoes, leisure shoes, dress shoes. Um, they even have hand wipes, nail polish, first aid kit, vitamins. So this is pretty, this is a pretty nice kind of detailed list of almost all the basic necessities that you need when you're traveling out of town. So this is really nice. And this one actually came with the red one. I didn't even open it up. I didn't know. And then this is the brand for the purple one which they're probably like the same. They feel like the same kind of material and stuff. Oh, but this one's made a little different. See, this is how you can tell the difference in them a little bit. As I was showing you on the red one, well, they finished off. This side is finished and this side is not. And that's what I was complaining about on the red one because on the red one, they didn't finish off either side. You can see it's white right there instead of putting a finishing on it they didn't finish off either side on this one but on this one they finished off one side but not the other so this one is a little bit different so we have um this one feels tighter i don't know if it's smaller or not but it does feel tighter they're about they look about the same size they look about the same size this one may be a little bit flatter so here we have a pocket where you can put your money. It does come with the zipper for the coin pocket. Now, one thing that I can say, this zipper on this one is not as sturdy as the zippers on this one. This is, feels like a cheap little zipper compared to the zippers on this wall. This is a sturdy zipper on this one. Okay, then you have a slot, I guess, if you wanna put your, um, this would be good for if you have your tickets that you're traveling with, if you have any tickets, or even if you get a luggage tag, it's someplace to slip it in. 
um, if you have a card or anything you want to slip in there. Sometimes when you're at the airport, you know, you got to keep your ID out or your passport until. So this is a good place to slip in your, um, your ID. Then we have also one, two, three card slots on this one. And this one actually gives you USB cards. So if you happen to vlog or anything like that and you need to keep an extra USB card with you, this one would actually be good to hold your um, minute, your micro USB cards. And then it looks like it has a pouch actually for the, um, this, for the adapter right here. And then it has two USB cards on here. Okay. Just one second, my phone is ringing. Okay, so <clears throat> basically this one, we're going to have a pin slot and then we actually have one pocket, two pockets. So you can separate money in here and then this is a good place to slide your passport. Your passport will actually slot, oh. How they have this one okay so actually this one this pocket right here is where you're supposed to slide your actual ID it actually says it on here I don't know if you guys can see that but on here it says ID and then it says credit card slots so that's what the two slots are for over here so I like this one too this one's nice. Um, it's the same type of material as this one, uh, but this one, if you carry a lot of cards, this one would be for you. It only has one USB card on this one, and this one has two USB pockets, and you only get uh, three credit card slots on this one. So if you don't travel with a lot of credit cards, then this is the wallet for you. And then you have your ID card over here. So they're both good. This one gives you more pockets though. So you have three long length pockets. So if you like to separate your cash and travel, I know growing up my grandma used to always have her um, money separated for where she knew where certain areas in the pocketbook was for her food when she travels. Certain areas in the pocketbook was so she can have her tip money um, and then just extra petty cash she would have in another area. So that's how my grandma used to teach us how to travel. Always have change, you know, so you can tip and everything when you're on the road, especially in the airport when people are assisting you. So a wallet like this will be very good on, um, and then when it folds up and now this one does not have so if you're looking for the keys to be able to hold your keys it doesn't have the little hook for your keys this one does have a hook if you're carrying keys both of these wallets come in multiple colors so does this one this one comes in multiple colors this one as well um you can actually travel with this one as well because um it has these pockets up here well actually your passport can fit in this this area the passport is only this wide so your passport if you have a passport book it can fit in this slot as well but if you need a little bit more pockets for cards or different things that you have then i would go with one of these wallets that fold up kind of like an envelope and it's just a one snap So that's basically how these are right here. Oh. So they're both flat. They're made by two different companies, but they are the same material. They both have wristlets. So it just depends on really the difference in between these two, I think are gonna come down to if you want the little key holder for your keys, but hey, if you need to, you could just stick it on here somewhere. You know, they both have the pins. If you're a person who travels with checks, they both have a place for pins, or if you just wanna make sure you have a pin in your wallet while you're on the road as well. Um, 
If you carry more cash, I would say this is the wallet for you. If you carry more credit cards, this will be the wallet for you. That's pretty much the major difference because they both have this space right here. The top of these are designed the same with the coins. This is the only thing that's different. So this is designed for one card. This is designed for four cards. This part is designed for three cards on both of them. This has one um, SD card holder. This has two mini SD card holders and one um, SD card holder. And then they both have ID slots right here for your ID. So it just kind of depends on you because this part doesn't open. So it just depends on your needs. Everybody's needs are slightly different from when they travel. And then they both come with, they both come with the, um, the guides, the packing guides, which I think is really nice to have the packing guides. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up, fam. So I'm gonna come with another video on packing on the road. So I'm, I've actually purchased some more stuff off of Amazon that's gonna help us stay safe while we're traveling on the road because we're getting ready to take a road trip and to keep us safe from the viruses that are out there and everything like that. So stay tuned if you're getting ready to hit the road this summer for the spring break, stay tuned for more videos because they're coming up next. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye fam, until next time.